Hey folks, welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. I have some carrot seeds left over from sowing this fall and so I'm going to plant them in pots. Come on, let's see if we can do this. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel and helping us out through the summer to get to over 20,000 subscribers. I'm really touched by that and I really appreciate it. We have two kinds of primary viewers. We've got the guys who are subscribers who watch many of our videos and really like to enjoy kind of the culture of our garden and would watch our videos simply because they enjoy uh, spending time in our garden with us and we really enjoy you guys and we try to bring you into sort of the culture of how we do things here. There's not a whole lot to it. We're pretty down home. We don't do everything right and there's a lot of mistakes we make and a lot of things I don't really explain fully because you know I'm not, I'm not some uh, perfect gardener online. And uh, so I really appreciate you folks who really like to come and just enjoy gardening with us. And there's also the other folks I, I really enjoy, you guys, who want to get in here, have a quick short video, learn how to do something, and watch something without a bunch of nonsense. And so I try to cater to both of y'all. So uh, videos like today, if you see how to in my thumbnail or description, that's generally something I'm trying to explain how to do something quick and fast. And so by me interjecting this little portion of my video, I'm kind of negating the whole quick and fast thing. But I think you get, you get what I'm, I'm saying. So whether you're wanting just real quick, fast information, or whether you like hanging out with us and enjoying our family, our garden, our compost pile, our adventures with my boy, um, I hope that you both enjoy what we're doing. And, and in order to, to make that happen, I'd like your comments. I want to know, what do you like? Uh, what do you like to see here in this channel? what do you like in a gardening channel in general and uh, yeah I really like to have that feedback that's real that's really encouraging so yeah, I try to cater to everybody and you're never gonna do both of them well and so I think we've kind of struck a nice balance I hope we have so let me know in the comments all right well let's go on our video and figure out how to how to put these carrots in a pot I've been watching guys on YouTube for about a week now all different kinds of folks all different kinds of ways planting carrots in pots doing carrots in containers and growing them in potting soil, putting down grids or broadcasting them, doing it all different ways. And really it looks quite easy. You just have to have patience because carrots take a while to come up and they take a while to mature. So I have some seeds. I've got this Prisian, which is a short little carrot. I have these Danvers half longs that are also a short carrot. And I have this free gift from Baker Creek, an Amarillo carrot. I've grown these before and they're really delicious yellow carrots. So I'm gonna put them in a pot. I mean, all these guys are having success, why can't we? So I'm gonna plant them in pots. I've got a couple different kinds of pots. I've got a lot of leftover potting soil that I'm gonna recharge with a little compost. And I'm gonna plant my, my seeds right into that. And we're gonna see how we do. So this is potting soil from last year. And I have placed in here some compost and you can see that it, it, it'll hold together, but if you just move it a little bit with your hands, it breaks apart. A very friable soil. And I've mixed this up pretty good in this little container here. And I'm going to put it in my pot and fill it all the way up to the top. That's pretty much all you need is a loose, friable potting mix. You don't want to use... A, you don't want to use garden soil or topsoil or something like that. While that might be uh, good in the garden, uh, in a pot, we've got a much more restricted environment and we need something nice and loose and friable. Now that doesn't come all the way up to the top, so I'm going to have to mix up some more. Last year's potting soil. Got, this has got some chunks in it, so I'll have to pull out some of that, some of those chunks. Look at that, nice black compost. So you just kind of break that in, just a couple handfuls all we need. Break it up, mix it all up. Make sure your soil is nice and friable. That means it's loose, aerated, able to drain quickly, and doesn't stick together and become real gummy. It's not filled with rocks, it's not compacted. It's just good loose soil. You want a nice fluffy growing matrix for carrots. Right there. Now you want to kind of compact it down just a little bit, make it level. Now this is what, about a 12 inch pot? I figure you can grow 
about 15 or 20 carrots in there. Now I've seen guys come in here and do this and grow a dozen carrots. So that's what, three, six, seven, eight. So that's 10 carrots right there. Now, man, that's not enough. I follow this fellow on, on uh, YouTube who put, lays a grid over his carrots and uh, I'll link to you to his uh, carrot growing in the video. I'm not gonna get that detailed because he's really uh, amending his growing matrix with fertilizers, phosphorus, meal, various kinds of things to really help those plants. Um, and when, they, when they're growing that compact like he does, they need all that. I'm not growing that compact. So I'm just going to add a few holes here and there and I'll come back and thin later if I need to. So there we go. I'm gonna put some seeds in here. All right, in this container, I'm gonna grow these Danvers half long. These are short. They're not big old long carrots. that will go all the way down to the bottom and curl. These are fresh seed packed for 2020. And I don't need much. And I'm gonna put two or three of these tiny little seeds in each hole. And I'll probably need to come back and thin because it's hard to get two or three seeds in each hole. You can see I'm actually getting more like five or six seeds in each hole, but that's okay. We can thin. All right, that's it. And what we'll do is come over lightly now, simply cover it, just like so. All right, that is Danvers half long. Always label your, your pots and your plants so you know what you got. We'll water this in really well, and they should be up in, oh, two to three weeks. This is really notoriously slow growers, but that's okay. I have this old terracotta pot. This terracotta pot is starting to flake and break apart. I might get one more season out of it. I can see cracks on the inside. Uh, if I'm gentle with it, I should be able to use it. You see, if I just touch it the wrong way, it starts to fall apart. Let's see if we can grow some carrots in this one too. So, let's fill this up. This is what you want. Really loose and fine soil. And this is recycled, so it's already kind of loose because it's got all that perlite in there. It's got a lot of peat moss in there. That's what we're after. I'm not sure about this seed. It doesn't have a date on it because it is a a free variety. This one, I'm going to do it a bit differently. I'm going to broadcast this seed over the surface of my my soil because it's older seed and I'm not sure how viable it is. If I broadcast a lot of seed on here, that hopefully will at least give me some of them that come up and I'll come back in with my snips and I will thin these down. I have a video on how to thin seedlings. I'll link to it right there and you can go watch that if you'd like to. So these are on the surface. I'm going to have to cover that now. So I'll just take a very fine dusting of this potting mix and I'll put about a quarter of an inch on there. Just about a quarter of an inch. Maybe a little bit more. And that's that. Amarillo or Amarillo if you're from Texas. We have a town called Amarillo but uh, if you speak Spanish, amarillo, because it means yellow. Uh, well, there we go. That's how we're doing carrots. And I appreciate you coming by and watching our videos. Hey, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We're, uh, we're really uh, encouraged when we get subscriptions and comments. Leave a comment below and uh, watch us on Facebook and subscribe to us on Instagram and we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.